Hello everyone and welcome to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today we are going to be making a special project here. This will be a way to store your 3D printer filament either when not in use or when you are printing with it and you want to keep it dry away from moisture and away from uh, excess dust. So what you're going to need here first is a large plastic container. I highly recommend you pick up one of these that has these, uh, it's this particular seal here, if you notice there's like a uh, foam type seal all around the edge of this uh, container top. Sometimes it's on the actual container itself rather than the lid or top. And then of course you will need some sort of desk and pack. Now another thing you can do is you can also take uh, the little desk and packs that come with your filament along with other products. However, I do want to let you all know that those are one time use. However, this thing you can throw it in the oven and it has instructions here. But two hours at 280 degrees Fahrenheit and yeah, you just stick it in the oven for two hours at that temperature and it will uh, recharge and dry out so you'll be able to use it again. Now if you're just looking to store filament, all you need to do is just go ahead and stick one of these desk and packs in here. I recommend putting blue tack on the side with a porthole, if it has a porthole like this. And I just do this to keep it in there and to keep it from... Uh, just moving around. I like to keep it in one place. And also I like to stick it on one of the edges like so to where if you're just uh, looking at the side of this here you can tell if the, uh, f the actual pack needs to be renewed or reheated. And then you just stick your filament in and you close it up. Make sure you uh, close these flaps here. That'll keep your filament in proper order so you won't have to worry about it absorbing too much moisture and then ruining the quality of your prints, getting bubbling and what and other undesirable effects here. Now this is fine and dandy for storage. However, if you wanna actually use this as a filament spool holder that's contained, that you don't have to worry about uh, just losing if you don't, uh, for instance, if you have inactive printers you don't use for long periods of time, or you just have a lot of printers that need filament, uh, you can, this is a pretty handy little system here. So let me go ahead and uh, show you all what you're gonna need for this. First thing you're gonna be, you're gonna need is some PTFE tubing like so. I recommend getting some with a two millimeter inside diameter. I think it's like four millimeter outside diameter. Just getting various lengths of it. Um, as long, it just needs to reach your printer or your uh, Bowden tubing system, depending on how you have it. And then getting some sort of a tubing or pipe. I have this 17 millimeter thick pipe here. And then I have 3D printed these little brackets here with the, uh, they have like, there's like little uh, M5 bolts I have as well. Now you could get proper fittings for your PTFE lines, or you could glue them in with some hot glue. I'm probably just going to use a bit of blue tack like I did with the actual uh, the desiccant pack. So just a bit of blue tack here, I'll keep some more on standby. And then of course, let's go ahead and talk about tools we'll be needing here. You might need a hacksaw or some sort of a saw or cutting uh, type instrument in order to cut your uh, tube down to size in order for it to fit inside of the case which is what I'm going to have to be doing here today and you'll need a power drill or just a uh, something to uh, put holes in the actual box here along with your fair share of drill bits I'm going to be using uh, M5 along with an M4 drill bit or four millimeter and five millimeter drill bits here for my applications but you can improvise and just get whatever's close enough uh, it's not really a precision application we're dealing with here. I, that's what I have on hand. I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything. I'm gonna go ahead and take out our filament spool and our desiccant pack. First order here is I want to go ahead and flip it over on our bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and get our four millimeter drill bit. Now for this particular uh, box here, I'm gonna be using two printers, one with a single extruder and one with a dual extruder. So I wanna get about three holes. I don't wanna have them on the center because that'll create unnecessary strain on the filament. Basically, um, you wanna have it closer to, towards the end of the spool, but not like super off to the end here just because it'll be get in the way of other things. So I'm gonna drill them about here. <laughs> Gonna use an X-Acto knife to clear out all these shavings. And I may even drill a bigger hole. I'm not sure here at this point. As long as you don't pinch the tubing, which is pretty hard with this PTFE tubing. And of course you don't need to use PTFE tubing. If you get like a different type of tubing, make sure it's not, it's not able to kink as much. You need to make sure the actual filament can smoothly uh, glide through it. If you do have some non-PTFE tubing, I recommend going with a actual uh, larger inside diameter tubing. Okay, so let's test our fitment here real quick. 
Yeah, that's actually perfect. So in the end, I'll go ahead and shove those through. First, I need to mark and measure for these guys here. Okay, so 32.5 is our measurement. I wanna to try to make them as level as possible. You wanna mock up where your spool will be so it doesn't hit, and some spools are bigger than others, so yeah, you wanna make sure that you kinda of wanna hit the center to where there's ample room on multiple ends here and just figure out where the pipe's gonna be. So it'll be about right there. What's that measurement at? That's kind of, that's gonna be where our screw holes will line up with. Looks like about 160 millimeters. Just gonna do a little mark line here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure I'm lined up kind of or as in the center as I can. Do the same with the other side. I'm gonna line up this line here with the top of our deal. This will get us close enough to where we need to be at least. And I'm just gonna use this little scribe tool to mark a little hole, get it eyeballed in there. As long as we're not totally cattywampus and out of alignment, we'll be good to go. Get our other end going. Deburr these holes real quick. Stick our M5 bolts in. Have to grab an Allen key here real quick. Let's get them hand tightened for now. Let's just make sure everything's nice and lined up. If one's kind of like cattywampus to where it's like really off, the thing you can do is drill big, slightly bigger holes. Just get the next step drill bit up as long as it's not like an extreme size up. And of course, just make sure they're both facing upwards. There we go. Okay, so now that we got these two installed here, I need to go ahead and cut this to size. What I wanna do is I wanna cut this to basically where it's a little smaller than these. this actual overall diameter here. Let's get out the good old tape measure, see where we're at. 15 inches looks like a good safe cut. First, we'll mark our cut. Now I've got some PVC pipe. I'd probably recommend getting something a little bit more solid than this, at least with a bigger uh, wall. This is a little bendy for my liking here, but it will work for the time being. Just deburred a bit with the X-Acto knife. Time for the test fitment. Looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna tighten these guys up here and then we'll work on getting the uh, PTFE liners put in. All right, so I have these little pneumatic fittings on here that can just take this PTFE tube, you can insert it. The reason I have them is that it gives the uh, tubing a bit of extra flexibility and rotation. So instead of it just being held at a single point and then it possibly binding up, it should be able to move with the uh, actual printer as the uh, print head is moving around, which uh, is really beneficial for one particular printer, the uh, new printer I have. But uh, the other, the Flash Forge I have, which has the dual extruders, it's not so much just because it has like really uh, rigid tubing already, but it will definitely come in handy for like quick disconnect uh, functionality where I need to just go ahead and uh, you know service this or service a, a line I can just take it out really easily so just something optional you can usually just get away with just having the tube kind of uh, glued or tacked into place of course not a lot of heat's going to come by so you could probably just hot glue it with little to no issue but I like that extra added bit of convenience with a quick disconnect along with the ability for the tube to rotate and not kink up or anything like that. So. so now that we have this taken care of here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to me installing this on my printer rack. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the uh, tubes to size here first. And the way I do that is I get a pair of side cutters. And then once I have made the cut, I use a scribe tool or something with a pointy end to basically force the hole back open to its proper shape. Make sure that the tubing isn't too long or too short to prevent it from kinking or snagging. Once you have the tubing connected to the printer, you are ready to start printing. And that is how you make your own filament storage box. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button, consider subscribing, and check out some other videos. And as always, have a great day.